Hey guys and welcome to another video of Spark. So uh, if you are a Fusion uh, 360 user then you will be familiar to the sketch dimensioning tool which is used to give dimension whether it is angular, linear or any kind of dimension but only for 2D drawing. When we talk about a 3D object, a component or a body like this and we need to measure anything it's any volume the s to s distance the angle between two mating parts to inclined planes then we have to use this major command a single powerful tool that fusion 60 provides to measure for all kind of measurement if you are working on a solid body so let's try and just click on measure and first thing that it will ask you about selection filter for example if you want to know things about a body or a component or a edge vertices anything so you can just select from here next thing is precision you are all familiar with this the amount of how precise you want your dimensions to be and the next thing is show snap points i will show you this in later part of the video so let's start with a simple thing suppose that uh, in this drawing I want to calculate distance from this vertex to this vertex just click on this vertex and this vertex and it will give you the dimension for that is 170 mm they are 170 mm apart from each other also now they can be traced in uh, coordinates also similarly if, you, if I want it to be a diagonal then I can just click on this so let's move on to something it will be complicated if i just click on this face then it will uh, give me the area in meter square or whatever the <coughs> length also the loop length i mean the parameter and <coughs> not only this it can also give you uh, the radial dimension for example if if i want to know the uh, radius of this extruded cut hole just click on this uh, uh, so, uh, hole and it will give us the diameter the radius the length uh, now let's take another example suppose that I want to uh, calculate the length of this handle this I will just click on this handle uh, just click on this handle and it will give us the loop length that the overall length the radius diameter and the area now if I talk to you about the angle um, uh, let us suppose that this V group which are a mirror image and they are inclined at some angle with each other suppose that I want to calculate the angle between this space and this space so what I have to do is just click on this space and second read just click on this plane and it will give you the angle is 77.3 degree is between them so uh, similarly if I want to calculate the distance between this point and this point just click on those both the point and it will give you uh, dimension now uh, moreover you can just calculate all the suppose that I have uh, 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 the, uh, made a fillet here so if I just click on this fillet edge then it will uh, give me the radius the fillet radius the fillet diameter and the position and of course the length in mm uh, the next thing is that to suppose that uh, if you are not having any vertices at any point and you want to calculate a uh, distance between that point then you have to click on show snap points what is what it shows that it will uh, offer you some snap points to uh, measure your distance let us suppose that before snap point there were no traceable point here now it's a point here i will just calculate click on this and just click and it will give me a uh, dimension uh, between these two points similarly you can uh, also measure a distance between this point and this point like this so you can calculate the distance the angle the surface area one thing more that uh, for this this threaded uh, <coughs> job uh, if I want to the calculate the overall length of the thread I will what I have to do is just click on the thread and it will take some time and it will give the overall length of the thread that is 2140 or 4 mm uh, if we just elongate this thread along a straight line then it will be uh, 2000 mm approximately uh, similarly if you want to calculate the radius of this cylinder just click on this and it will give you the radius and different things of this so you have to calculate so this is the tutorial video 
of how to use major command in Fusion 360 to calculate everything if you are working on a solid object. Hope you guys liked this video. Do comment any queries and also subscribe to my channel. Peace out.